Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Friday, TGI Friday. Thank God it's Friday. But today I have a very special guest in my kitchen, the beautiful Faye, who I didn't think I had met before, but Faye just reminded me we actually met at a Christmas event in Calliope, which is up near Gladstone. True. Yes. Probably about six years ago. Ooh. Maybe even more. Maybe even more. But anyway, the reason I invited, hello, Josie Bella, how are you, love? Um, the reason I invited Faye into my kitchen today, she recently bought four ingredients keto and tried the keto crackers uh, at home. For all of you who have already bought this book, and I know many, many of you have, page 57. Hello, Vicky from Tassie. Oh, gosh, you're going to need these nice warm crackers today. Um, and they didn't work for her. And I just said, if there is one recipe in this book, I hope all of you master, it is the crackers. Because this is what made me fall in love, this recipe with keto diet. So when I learned you could eat crackers made with cheese and you could have bacon and a G&T on a Friday night, I went, this keto diet might just be one that I could stick to. So what I did, I invited Faye into the office and I thought, right, we're going to troubleshoot these crackers. So I'm going to make these crackers. This Facebook Live will probably go for around about 15 minutes. So come and go as you want, but I'm going to go step by step through these keto crackers so that you too know what at each step the cracker is meant to look like. The texture, the roll, the bake, all of it. So hang with us for 15 minutes. This is a recipe that I think you will absolutely love. So the four ingredients that you need for this recipe are on the baking tray. So uh, you need two cups of grated mozzarella. And Faye, did you do this at home? Just measure them out, pour them into a bigger bowl. I certainly did. One cup of almond meal. So obviously just ground down almonds, and this is what helped. For those of you that haven't embraced the keto diet yet, essentially high fat, low carb. So almonds contain the good fat. So then we've got um, three tablespoons of cream cheese. So this is actually a dessert spoon by the looks of it. <laughs> Oopsies. So I'll go a little less on those two. We'll just mix it and see how we go. So that's our three tablespoons of, um, of cream cheese. I'll just pop that over there. I just used Philadelphia and I used the, um, the full fat. So obviously on keto, high fat, low carb, full fat it is. And then you just mix, don't you? Is this what you did as well, Dal? In a large bowl, add the cheeses, so your mozzarella and your cream cheese and your almond meal. Yep. And then you don't, oh, actually, no, you don't mix your microwave. No, no, it's just mix. Oh, oh actually, I did the two cheeses together first. Oh, you did the two cheeses together at first? Yeah, I've been with this. Yeah, that's what you said in the recipe. Oh, God. Well, there you go. See, people, <laughs> read the recipe. Read the recipe. I think the cream cheese probably blends easy. It says, in a large bowl, add the cheeses, then the almond um, meal, and microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, so let's microwave this for 30 seconds. I don't know thought. Miss Helen, would you please, as my assistant, pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds? So there you go. Has anyone here at home made the keto crackers yet as well? Sammy Lavarca, can you use lactose-free cheese? I've not done it with lactose-free cheese. I actually have lactose-free cheese, so a soy-based cheese in my fridge. I have done it with a mixture, a three-cheese mixture, so it was mozzarella and cheddar and something else I can't recall but it was just a pre-packaged and it, it worked really well with the three cheese mix but if anyone out there has actually made the keto crackers with the lactose uh, free cheese please let us know so I can let Sammy know how they went. Margie Kelly from Queensland, hello to you Margie. Eileen Westaway, hello in Melbourne. Oh gosh, I bet it's cold down there at the moment. I use lacto-free, Sammy says, I use lacto-free cheese and cream cheese. And did they work? If you made these keto crackers with uh, lactose-free cheese and cream cheese, did they work? So Delma Avery, great recipes. Carol Hall, good morning, watching from Harvey Bay. Okay, we'll keep watching. So was that 30 seconds? Oh gosh, that went quick. Okay, so actually, yeah, because that's coming together. Oh, and there's our um, there's our oven behind us. So we've just preheated our oven. So in the recipe, beautiful people, it says, right, microwave for 30 seconds or until the cheese is bubbling. So the cheese is clearly not bubbling here. So what we might do. 
is just in an effort to bring it together a little bit more, but I don't want it to be too hot because I'm doing this live. I want it to be kind of fluid. I'm going to, I'm, I'm thinking it is coming together. So this is the consistency. It's kind of coming together to form a dough. Okay, now in the recipe, it says microwave for 30 seconds or until the cheese is bubbling. Now, if you've got a brand new high wattage microwave, the cheese might bubble. But this beautiful microwave has been in my life for about 20 years when I bought it at a garage sale for the princely sum of about $15. So, you know, probably the wattage a little lower than newer microwaves. But even with an older microwave, that's okay, I think. That's fine. So, the fourth ingredient, can you crack the egg, do me the honours please? Okay. The fourth ingredient, for those of you that have just joined us, we're making keto crackers. And beautiful Faye is our local resident. I don't know if Faye, I have, a, well I have actually met her but I didn't realise this. But when she rang the office and said my keto crackers aren't working, we promptly said come in because it's such a good recipe, you need to know how it works. And I thought, well, if it didn't work for Faye, perhaps it's not worked for others. So let's troubleshoot together and figure out, and, and I'll show you, I'll show you how it works. So while you're mixing that, beautiful. Oh, it's, it's good having a helper in the kitchen. Thank you. And she's free, she's a volunteer. So we will get to have some nice crackers, so before you leave. So what I'm doing now, I've just got two sheets of baking paper because what we want to do with these crackers, we want to, when this dough has all come together, we're going to put it on one sheet and then we're going to place the other sheet on top and we're going to roll it out. So the thinner you roll your dough, your mixture, the crunchier your cracker will be. So I have just preheated our oven to 180 degrees and uh, you know we're just going to bake. I think baking time's about 10 minutes. So I think that's a lot easier doing it like that than longer in the microwave. Okay, so Faye, look, she. I'll just show you. Can you all see the consistency? So this is a really nice dough-like consistency of our three high-fat, low-carb ingredients that make up our keto crackers. So what we're going to do? We're just going to invert this onto. A onto the baking paper, like so. Get all that yummy mixture out. We don't want to miss any because the resulting crackers are delicious. Oh, thank you, Han. There we go. And I'll give you that one as well. So what we want to do, we want to put the baking paper on top and just squelch it down a tad. Now, first rule of thumb in the four ingredients kitchen, clean hands. And then we've got our weapon of mass destruction. So the lovely Faye, I had to actually, I forgot my rolling pin in the office and um, I had to race across the road to my name. And she goes, oh, Faye's suggestion was, oh, just use a wine bottle. And we said, Faye, hey, this is a family show. It works in my house. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it would. <laughs> yeah, that's why we all laughed at it. Yeah, you could see that working, no problem as well. And that little drink was the one the One for the cookie, one for the crackers, one for the cook. That's right. That's like me and my Christmas cake recipe. So, okay, I am just, oh, maybe I should have um, used a little bit more baking paper, but that's okay. What we'll do, so a little bit's just coming out the end here. I'll just creep that over to an area that doesn't have quite so much. Is this how you did yours at home, hun? Is this similar? Well, that's what I did. Yeah. And um, I thought they were too thick. Yeah. So the second time I made it, I halved the dough to start with, and then I did them in two lots. So I could get them thin. Thinner, okay. okay. And, bit. and so um, what, out of curiosity, made you go keto? Is it just an interest you've had for a little while? Or when I have one of, someone in your health regime recommended? Or well, I've been doing the paleo sort of thing with the yeah. no wheat and, and grains and things. And then when I saw the keto, I thought, well, that's that's all all really nice things you like to be very good for you. And it's not hard to do because it's... Normally, ingredients you'd have anyway. Yes, yeah. getting your head around the high fat. Yeah, but good fat. I know. Not processed bad fat. But you know what? When I think of the keto diet and what my nana used to eat, yeah, it's the same. You know, <laughs> real butter, mm. loads of eggs, because, you know, back in the day, everyone had chickens, yeah. produce their own poultry, their own eggs. So, 
you know, and I think, yeah, bacon for breakfast, well, that was kind of, you know, a dumb, a dumb thing. My dad still loves bacon for breakfast. So, I, I don't know, can you all see how I have now just done this? So I'm just cutting off the edges that are coming out um, from the main sheet. That's quite, that's probably about two millimetres thickness, I'd say. Do you reckon, Clay? I think so. I think I tried for a little thinner than that, but that might be more. I'm just running yeah. out of paper, too. Yeah. 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 It's not wide enough. No. And they didn't make it in one size. Oh, they didn't. Um, so there we go. So that's our, we've rolled our keto crackers out. And then I'm just going to remove the top, uh, the top layer. And we will pop that there. And then I'm just going to, this, it doesn't say to do this, but I'm just going to season. I'm going to season the outside because... I like um, I like a little bit of crust, you know, a little bit of salt and pepper. There you go, just a sprinkle. So just some salt and pepper, and then I'm going to just the actual. You could use a pizza wheel, or I've just got one of these old. This I think actually is my nana's old butter knife. So do you remember this? The bone handle. You weren't allowed to get the handle. You weren't allowed to get. Oh really? really cranky. Oh, yes. and then it was cranky, you got the handles wet. Well, you wouldn't have had dishwashers to worry about that in those days, would you? So I'm just roughly going down the length of the sheet. Here we go. And I am, let me just see, I might pop that over here, like so, just to fill it out a little. And then we're going to just go the other way. So these squares are going to form our cracker. And I'm just cutting all the way through. I'm pressing gently so that they, um, the mixture comes apart. And we're going to bake this. Remember, I just said we have preheated our oven to 180 degrees. And I'm just going to trim off those little edges just to make it look nice because I feel better when everything looks really pretty <laughs> and in shape. <laughs> there we go, like so. And a little bit down there. And we'll add them to the end here. So wonderful that Ashley had cracker. Isn't it? And we, um, I make these every single week. Mm. I do this batch because I entertain a lot and I like to have not heaps of crackers, but I like to have, I like to have some. So, okay, now here's our baking tray. And we are going to just, oh, thank you. And that is... Yeah our keto cracker tray. So can you all see that? That was just the four ingredients. So let's put them in the oven for five minutes because I want to show you what it looks like when it comes out. Now, what's the time, Faye, on our little screen? Um, we have got uh, 10.41. Okay, see up there, hun? Yes. So we need five minutes, so 10.46. So I know this is a little longer than my normal lives, but... For those of you that have bought the Four Ingredients Keto Book or are on a keto diet or journey, as we prefer to call it in our office, diet's just such a harsh word, um, this is something I want you to know how to work. And if it doesn't work, I want you to know how to troubleshoot. So, you know, it says um, to microwave the, the two cheeses and almond meal for 30 seconds or an until the cheese is bubbling. Our cheese wasn't bubbling, but as Faye started, as, you know, as she saw, we were mixing it together and the dough was coming together beautifully. So, and then uh, because we're live and we wanted to get that egg in without it cooking on a hot, hot, hot ingredient, we just cracked the egg in, mixed it in, that's your fourth ingredient. Your egg's very important to this because of course it's gonna bring it all together with the cheese and help bind it. And then we just rolled it out. You know, the recipe says one to two millimetres. Well, I didn't pull off enough baking paper, so the middle crackers are probably a little thicker than the outside crackers. If it, you know, use in the kitchen, I find as well gut instinct. Gut instinct, you know, it helps you to use your recipe as a guide, and it is a good guide. Read it first, you know, and, and go through it. But if ever you have one of my cookbooks, like Faye, and something doesn't work or for whatever reason, you know, just email us. You know, we are here to help, not hinder. And our recipes are simple and they will work. And, you know, if, unlike Faye, you can't pop in, um, you know, because you don't just live around the corner coincidentally. Not lucky like me. Not lucky like <laughs> you and me to live on the Sunshine Coast. And we will do it live for you anyway so that, you know, you can be part of the solution. 
um, you know, we can be part of the solution together. So, because chances are, if one of you are having problems with a particular recipe, then then others are as well. But sometimes we just don't take the time to, you know, to figure out why. So, and the crackers, as you just said, when you are on a keto diet, it is a wonderful thing to have a cracker as an accompaniment. You don't need loads of them, but gee, it's good to have a nice one, you know, as a, a if you want it, you know. Isn't it even for an easy lunch if you look in the fridge and there's hardly anything? You've got some cream cheese left out of from the recipe. You just sun dried tomato on top. And there's your lunch. There's lunch. Yeah. I had that the other day. Well, yeah. we, um, you know, Mel and I often we dine our desco when we're in the office like today. And um, later today, what I'll do is I'll post a picture on this feed as well of our lunch. But we've just got loads of beautiful salad, um, a nice creamy cheese. Um, you know, what else have we got? And then we're going to just have some crackers with it, which just not heaps of crackers, maybe three or four each, just little. And, you know, each cracker, I think, has only got about 45, um, you know, calories in it too. So from a diet perspective, you know, if you... Uh, having a plate full of salad and just got a couple of crackers and it's a really, you know, it's a really easy, quick, nice. healthy, yummy lunch. So, yeah, we eat a lot. And in the book, uh, another thing that I do all the time when I'm entertaining is my keto raising platter. Even yesterday, we had, um, I had 10 people for lunch impromptu, friends visiting from Norway, and I did just a massive keto grazing platter. It's lovely to have these homemade crackers to serve on the side. But the good thing I like about this particular page is I have listed over here all the ingredients that are appropriate for a keto grazing platter. And what I do as my base, I don't know if you can really see that, but whatever platter I'm serving it on, I will upend an entire big, say, 150 gram bag of spinach and rocket, or just rocket if I want that stronger, more peppery taste. Or well, yesterday I just had spinach, which was just so lovely, baby spinach. So that's my base, and it's just bright and green and vibrant. It's beautiful. And then I just had some really nice um, pepper and chili infused salami that I bought at my IG at the deli. So straight off the, you know, that was sliced fresh for me. Beautiful ham off the bone, which was just, oh my gosh, it was so fragrant, it just being baked, it was delicious. And then, you know, a variety of beautiful, creamy, full fat cheeses, and some avocado, some boiled eggs. So it was really easy to put together. And these people from Norway were just like, oh, this is better than moose casserole. <laughs> you know, and they wanted to go swimming. Oh my gosh, I go, oh no, 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 no. But anyway, it probably is. Um, Jennifer Honor, because I travel a lot, I don't buy hard copy books. Is the keto book going to be available as a digital book so I can have it on my iPad? Yes, Jen, it is available as we speak um, as an ebook. So go forth and download. So, Wendy Allen, good morning from Gippsland, Victoria. How are you? And I've just got um, a message. Someone has emailed in. Read out what else is keto other recipes <laughs> there you go so loads of other recipes in the book breakfast lunches dinners desserts um yesterday i did for everybody um some beautiful little keto uh fat bombs as well which you know there's just so many things that you can do with cream cheese you know dips Keto crackers, all the little fat bombs generally have uh, cream cheese as a base as well. So, you know, loads and loads of different things. Is there anything else that you've made in the book yet? Uh, the chicken patties and the, um, oh, the um, breakfast one with the chia seeds. Oh, yeah, and look yes. at this. Have you tried this? Yes, yes. My so, girlfriend doesn't stop raving about those. So these are little <laughs> parmesan crisps made literally. With, well, these are two ingredients. I did fresh thyme leaves and parmesan. But again... You get your baking tray, uh, put your baking paper on it, and then egg rings. I put egg rings. Uh, I don't, do I have any here just to show you? You know, just a basic egg ring. So that's a tin bowl, but it's an egg ring. Put them over the top and then just grate in Parmesan cheese, just in a lacy effect, just grate in your sprinkle in your Parmesan cheese, then some herbs over the top your thyme. And then you just, um, you put it in your oven 150 degrees and you bake just really for a couple of minutes, four to five minutes. And it kind of just all renders down together. But what it does, 
When you bring it out and you let it cool, it crisps up oh, like this beautiful brandy snap. <laughs> Except it's keto friendly. It's high fat, low carb. It's delicious. But that's another accompaniment that we um, we serve it sometimes with our beautiful tomato soup. So you can see the creamy tomato soup, and there's a little parmesan crisp uh, on the soup as well. So a rich, what do we say, a rich bowl of velvety. It's just tin tomatoes, butter, and onion. It is keto friendly and it is gloriously rich, and especially in winter. So for all of you joining us from Melbourne, oh, okay, five minutes is up. Don't want to burn them. Don't want to burn them. Let's see how we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are getting a little. Okay, so this is what they now look like. Now, in the recipe, it says to cut them. Let's just, um, let me just see. I'm going to run out of room on this one, aren't I? I'm just going to move that off for one sec on these. And then I'm going to put that other sheet on. And then I'm going to show you all. So let's just, I want to just, I'm just going to cut and then I'm going to flip. Cut and flip. And we'll put them back on to cook the other side. Here we are. And let's just continue on. Oh, okay. I didn't know. What did you do? I just cooked them like that. Oh, did you? Mm. Did you separate them first or? I just kept cooking them like that until they were gone and didn't turn them over. Oh, you didn't turn them That's where I went wrong. Well, I think it does say, just have a look at page 57. I think it does say to flip, doesn't it, in the recipe? Maybe I did a back flip. <laughs> well, it might have been me. I did it for me. But, but can you all see, like, they're coming together, they're fine. But I just think if you take the time, two secs, to flip them over before baking again, they will be, A, they'll be a little crunchier and they'll be golden on both sides. Oh, that, I can feel the little crust, the little salt and pepper crust. So the ones on the edge, um, they were up the lip, so they just cracked a little bit. They're still fine. They're still no problem. Flip them over. There we are. And then, oh, yeah, they're turning oh, easily. Bake for five minutes. Yeah. Turn and bake for another five minutes. Turn. Oh, I was missed it? that Oh, well, maybe you thought <laughs> turn was turn the. It's just I, I turned. Turn. That's right, I did. I turned turn the, the tray. tray. Okay, just, well. Yeah, cooks more at the back. Well, do you know what? That's why you're in here today, beautiful Faye, yeah. because we're troubleshooting together. So the next time I read print, I'm going to say flip. Yes. Because <laughs> flip, you know what? Flip is flip. flip, is so flip. Yeah. Yeah. So see how these are just coming apart really nicely, really easily. It actually smells like cheese on toast. It does smell like cheese on toast. I just thought the same thing, which... My three boys, you know, like if they want to snack at night, cheese on toast, they just yes. love. You know, yeah, we, don't the, go the, we don't go near the bread anymore, so no. I can't have that. But you're so good, though. So have you always been, you know, diet? You've always oh, sort of I've always tried to eat And you look, you know, you look fantastic, fantastic shape. I feel pretty good. Do you? And see, health. Health is wealth, isn't it? Yes. You know, when you, so are you retired? You and your, like, Hus partner, husband? Uh, well, you just never know uh, these days, uh, hey? Well, we won't go to partner. We'll go to husband. <laughs> we don't want to start any rumours out before we do that. No, so, so, everyone, can you see? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I reckon as well, if we had some nice fresh thyme or something now, we could sprinkle over the top or rosemary just to give it a little bit. You know, if you've got, do you have any herbs growing in your garden at home? Uh, I didn't mean something. I'm not a gardener. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I've got loads. Mel and I have loads of herbs in our garden. And I love herbs because they are zero calories, 100% flavour. They're just, you know, they're beautiful. Mm. And I just think every time you garnish with green, you add micronutrients. You know, there's some kind of vitamin or mineral in mm. anything. You know, and look at rosemary. I mean, that's just so green. That is just green goodness, isn't it? Yes. So there we are. Now, I'm just overlapping here a little. If you had a bigger tray or, you know, if you um, were, more time. if you had more time, if you weren't trying to get this, because I'm conscious we're up to 20 minutes on this video, but just hang with me, beautiful people, just a couple minutes more, because I want to just, right, so that's our flipped 
crackers, right? They're going back in here just for a little bit longer. And, and this is what we do, you know, when you're not sure of something or when you're making something new and it hasn't quite worked out, you just email us and we'll help you because the recipes are good and they are easy. So if they don't work, there's generally a reason. Usually when my recipes don't work, it's because I have done something wrong. <laughs> it's usually it's not my computer. When it doesn't work, my husband's like, it's probably not the computer, Kim. It's probably you and he is probably right. So, hello, Linda Pellet. My mum never used a rolling pin. I have her sherry bottle rolling <laughs> pin that must be 20 years old. Use it all the time. Linda Pallet, post us a picky. Barry McLennan, hello, love. Hope you are well. Fiona Colley, Tamika Baker, hello to you girls. Wendy Allen, can I buy the book online? Wendy, yes, you can. Go to fouringredients.com.au. It's on sale, $22, posted free anywhere across Australia. But conversely, for those of you that live next to Big W, Kmart, Target, Dimmix, QBD, it's available everywhere at the moment. It seems like Australia has gone, well, not just Australia, beyond as well has gone keto crazy. But, you know, the recipes, the ingredients, I love the ingredients. And actually, um, if you say go to, I think it's about page six or seven, eight or nine, when I wrote this book, when I was researching uh, everything that I wrote, everything that was keto friendly, you know, everything that I learned from conversations with dietitians, nutritionists, GPs, um, I started to make uh, exhaustive lists. So I kind of, you know, put them under meat, seafood, condiments, pantry items, herbs and spices, dairy, nuts, seeds, fruit, vegetables, and I isolated all the ingredients that I found were keto friendly, that had supporting scientific evidence that was keto friendly. I even then spent a little time on sweeteners and alcohol as well. Observe this beautiful little uh, table down here. This actually tells you on a Friday night like today, um, you know, a, a, a 45 mil of a shot of gin with a um, low carb tonic has zero carbs in it. So a G and T, you know, or a vodka and soda, just flavored with fresh lemon or a stalk of uh, rosemary or you know lime, etc. Yeah, there are some still. But you know, you can have an alcoholic drink if you so want. I mean, don't be like me and determine your diet based on your Friday night drink requirements, you know, and I say all throughout, you know, uh, if you are about to change your dietary habits, consult your GP or your nutritionist or a dietitian to ensure that whatever you are about to embark on suits you and your body, you know, you want to sort of diet or, or adopt a diet, you know, to help you not hinder you. So most importantly to water. Water is the most important nutrient in our diets and often the most neglected. As a general rule of thumb, for every 25 kilos of body weight, one litre of water per day. That's just in my mind how I kind of equate it. So if you have a child that's, you know, 50 kilos, two litres of water a day, they should technically be drinking. If you're 75 kilos, it's around three litres of water a day. Our body is made up of 75% water. It needs water. Your skin needs water. Everything needs water. So, you know, and then walking next to it as well. Often we can't run or jog, but we can all walk, even if it's just around the house, around the yard. So, all right, my beautiful people. I know this is taking a little while, but let's get these out and show you the end result. I feel like we need a drum roll. <laughs> oh. Thank you. All right, so here they are. I would probably, if I wasn't trying to uh, finish this segment as quickly as I was, I would probably have just left them to brown up just a little bit more in the, um, in the oven. But although they are a little pliable at the moment, they will harden as they cool. Like, that's actually really hot. Woo! So they will harden. They will crisp up as it cools. And there is a really easy, 100% keto-friendly cracker that will accompany any platter you are putting together when you next entertain. How do you think that went? Do you? You think now you're... Yep. No, we're on the keto cracker train. Yes. Choo -choo. 
all the way, all the way <laughs> past go. Do not stop to collect money. All right, so any questions, beautiful people, please email us at any time. I'm actually going to just pop these back in the oven for a couple of minutes more. I just want them a little bit more, um, a little bit more golden. And what I'll do when I finish them, I'll bring them out, probably lace them with a few nice little fresh herbs, take a photo, and I'll post it. Uh, to the uh, top of, of, of this feed. So watch out for that. But um, beautiful Faye, thank you. Thank you for asking. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, no worries. Thanks for contacting us. As I've said many times, we're here to help, not hinder. Happy Friday, everyone, and enjoy your keto crackers. Bye.